All right, we're here at Bennett Academy. Sorry for the technical difficulties. We were having some issues, but we are for, we are here for a crosstown matchup between Naperville North and Naperville Central. This time, it's playoff basketball, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Mark Kim here, a part of Hawk TV streaming, and we'll see what the Red Hawks got for the Huskies. It, currently, we have six minutes and five seconds left in the first quarter. It's 0-0 zero, zero still. Let's see, Lordo, he's gonna he's looking for an open guy. Mamid, the center, taking a three. Good, that's the first baskets of the game. And we are officially on our way. Taking a look at the, start, the starting lineup for Naperville Central. Today, they have Nikki Lopez, Matt Bennett, Mike Blazik, Pat Maloney, and Nick Zarnowski. For the Red Hawks, it was quite, I think it was quite an inter interesting move to put Ben in the starting lineup, especially because he's a junior. And I don't know why they would put, wouldn't put a more veteran option such as Rob Sunkin onto the starting lineup. But hey, I think Kramer's got a game plan with him. As for the Huskies, the, they, got, they have uh, Anthony Rahayam, Jason Winnick, Derek Westman, Brian Lalordo, and Rafi Mohamed. The key player for the Huskies to look out for is the swing man, Derek Westman. He's a big scoring threat. He can pull down boards as well, so we'll be able to see what he can do. Rahayam also a very lengthy defender. It'll be interesting to see how he plays against Central's defense today. There's a foul right there, and it will send Mike Blazik to the line. There's a Lordo. He's looking for an open option. He's trying to drive in against Bennett. He nearly pushed out. He turns the ball over. It'll be central ball. And there's Bennett. He's going to handle the ball for the Red Hawks. There's Blaze. He's going to try to drive in. Kicks it out to Lopez. Lopez finds Zarnowski in the low block. Lopez shot good. Cash money. Nick Zarnowski. That is his shot right there. And he's the best, one of the best in the DVC in that. There's Westman. He's trying to get around Blazik. Lost the ball for a second, but he recovers it. Here's Winnick. Trying to set up the offense himself. He's gonna try driving a little bit, but he's got a good defense by Pat Maloney. Westman hands the ball off to Winnick. Winnick trying to go up the middle. Gonna get it, he's gonna reset up top of the key, top of the three-point line. There's Westman playing point forward. There's Lordo, kicks it out wide. Great passing by the Huskies, they just couldn't get it though. Lordo. Trying to fake out Bennett, couldn't do so. Kramer yelling out orders. Great defense by the Red Hawks right now. Really stopping opportunities for Huskies. And there's a Lordo, he's gonna go for the layup. No good, rebounded by the man in the middle, Nick Sarnowski. And boy, this is the big X factor for the Red Hawks. This man can play in the middle. He can score buckets, he can pull down rebounds. Lopez for three, good! Cash money for Nicky Lopez, the senior senior guard, really providing some veteran leadership for this Red Hawk squad. And here's Winnick, kicks out to Mamed. Rahayam, he's gonna get the ball. He's kicking out to Winnick. Lordo tries to get open. Good defense by Bennett. You're going to see a slash by Winnick, a foul by Mike Blazik. <laughs> 
There's Lordo. He's going to lob it up to Rahayam. Rahayam being guarded by Nicky Lopez. Interesting matchup right here. He's going to get knocked over. No foul. He's going to recover the ball. There's a foul on the play. The ball will go Central's way, though. That is already the third team foul for the Huskies. They've got to watch out. And there's Bennett. He was going to try to cut in for a little bit, but he's going to dish it out to Maloney. Maloney back to Bennett. Bennett goes wide. He goes to Zarnowski working the low post. Big shot money. And there's not a much more imposing force in the DVC than Nick Zarnowski. He is one of the best in the position in the conference. I don't know what's going to happen to them in the state next year, but we'll, we'll see. He's a very talented player. It's a foul. It's going to go Naperville North Way. We'll have Rahayam inbound to Jason Winnick. You've yet to see substitution so far. I'm surprised the Red Hawks are not really trying to play Matt's, to play Rob Sunkin. Very good shooter. Also, the junior Ryan Anthony, the team's usual starting point guard, isn't in the game either. A bunch of very interesting moves by Coach Kramer. Mamet's going to handle the ball. And this is the third time North and Central has faced off this season. In the first matchup, Central beat North big. But in the second matchup, North coming up big with a four-point win, 52-48, against the Red Hawks in their last matchup. So it is a 1-1 season series. I don't know which way it's going to go. And there's Lopez. He's going to drive to the basket. No foul call. It's going to be a turnover. Naperville North ball. And here's Winnick. The foul will send the ball the other way. No basket for North. If you remember Winnick, he had 14 points in the last matchup between North and Central, as did forward Derek Westman. Lopez for three, no good. Rebound just out of the fingertips of Pat Maloney. Turnover. The ball will go to Naperville North. In that last game, in the last game, North overcoming a big deficit, coming back and winning that game on their home floor. Well, Central had a comfortable win last time in, in their first matchup on their home court. In that last game with North and Central, Sarnowski had 13 points, Sunkin had 10, which is why I'm really surprised Sunkin isn't in the game, especially given the fact he's a senior. But I mean, right now he's in the game, but I don't understand why Kramer wouldn't put him in the starting lineup. And there's a foul. A charging foul by Derek Westman. He knocked, he bowled over Nick Sarnowski. That's going to be turnover North, central ball. And central doing a heck of a job drawing, drawing fouls right now. The score is currently 16, uh, excuse me, it's 8 to 3 with 60.6 seconds left. There's less than 10 seconds left. Lordo, he's going to try to get a last second shot up. Rahayim for three. Good. And that will be the end of the first quarter. Naperville Central holding a narrow 8-6 to six lead. And it's only the first quarter, ladies and gentlemen. So let's just say today it's going to be a heck of a matchup. A low score over there. Lots of defense. And we're going to be seeing a really close matchup throughout this entire game.
have no audio. That's what Bob just said. That's what he said. We'll resume play with Rahayam. He's going to inbound the ball to Lolordo. There's Winnick. He's going to handle the ball. Being defended by Sunken. Kicks it out to Westman. Hands the ball off to Winnick. Central play a nice man-to-man -man defense. <laughs> Mahmoud, he's going to handle the ball now. And he handed the ball off to Rahayam. North trying to get something going, but Central's defense really stifling them, not giving them a lot of opportunities. Central holding a narrow two-point lead. There's Lordo. Hands the ball off to Winnick. There's Mohamed. And they've burned off a good minute and a half passing the ball. Great defense by Central right now. You're going to see some aggressiveness by Winnick. He gets blocked. A foul called. And it's going to be two shots for North. Central not happy about that call. First shot's up and it's good for North. It is now eight to seven. When it gets the line, he's gonna take a second shot. Shot's up, no good. Defensive rebound by Nick Zarnowski. He's gonna just pass the ball off to Nicky Lopez. And we've st still not seen Ryan Anthony in the game. Very surprising move. I don't know why. There's Arnowski. He's going to post up. Easy buckets for Naperville Central. And we really need to see what Rafi Mamet does in the middle. He has the most important matchup of the entire game. Central's offense is based around Nick Zarnowski. And if Mamet can shut him down, it gives North a good chance. But if he can't, it's going to be easy buckets all day for Central. There's Blazik with the offense, with a defensive rebound. He's going to pass it off to Sunkin. Sunkin bounce pass, no good. Re offensive rebound by Blazik, way up, good. There's Lordo. Lordo kicks it out to Winnick. Winnick does a travel on that play. That'll be central ball. And there's a lot of dumb fouls here for North today, which are really costing them opportunities to score. That and Central's great man-to-man -man defense really limiting opportunities for the Huskies to go for their scores.
There's Zarnowski. He's going to find wide open Sunkin for three. That is good. This is why this man is in the game, because he can make buckets. Central has now expanded their lead to eight points. There's a timeout, 4.55 left in the second quarter. Central up 15 to seven. And like I said, this offense revolves around Nick Zarnowski. You see, really see how, the, how he sucked in that Husky defense with him playing in the low post. But now, with Zarnowski being a threat in the low post, it opens up opportunities for the Red Hawks' great shooters to go out and make big buckets like that one you saw by Rob Sunkin. And today, if you still yet to see Ryan Anthony in the game, still a very surprising move. Long ball, no good for North. Rebounded by Zarnowski. And I just got word from the Red Hawk bench, Anthony is not playing because of an injury. It was a game time decision, which is why Bennett was starting in the game instead of Ryan Anthony. As for Sunken, I kind of understand why they didn't put him in the starting lineup as because I really see him more as a six man. Great presence off the bench. That'll be a turnover for Central. You'll see Matt Bennett come into the game for Central. It'll be North Ball. As for Central, if in case you didn't know, there's one man that's on this roster that is no longer with the team. That's number 32, Austin Palga. He has moved to a different school, which is why the team has brought up sophomore Alex Pomeroy. But he's sitting on the bench right now. A great pres great athletic Big man for the Red Hawks. Will, he'll be the future of this Red Hawks front court in the years to come. That was an easy layup by North. And here's Bennett. He's going to handle the ball for the Red Hawks. Finds Lopez. Lopez gets about to Bennett. Sunkin. You'll have the ball. There's a turnover by Central. And you'll see Pat Maloney come back into the game. Sunkin will take a seat on the bench. And I'm here today, joined by my partner in crime for today, Joey Gostitis. Joey, how are you doing? You'll see a turnover. It's a foul on that play by North. Well, it looks like we're trying to figure out Joey's issues with his microphone. For now, I guess I'll go solo. Here's Bennett. He's going to be starting up that Red Hawk offense. Good screen by Maloney. There's Zarnowski on that low block. He's danger zone. He finds Bennett, Maloney. 
Loney finds a Blazik. Blazik turns the ball over. There's Winnick. He's handling the ball for the Huskies. There's a foul on that play by Central. Lordo pump fakes. He's going to drive to the basket. Finds Mohamed. He gets fouled. And he'll go to the line. Mohamed's at the line. He's going to take some shots. Shots up. No good. He made one out of two. Central with a 15 to 10 lead. They've got to get something going. There's Bennett. There's a foul. Offensive foul. That'll be North Ball. As for Central, Taylor Zelensky has come into the game. Central, with Norse lineups, seems to stay very consistent. And I'm not seeing a lot of Jelani McLean Jr., the freshman from North, who had ample time in Central's, in the North's first game, not getting a lot of time in this one. Westman open shot for three. He botches that shot. There's Lopez on that fast break. He finds Bennett. Could he take that opportunity. We got a minute 43 left in the second quarter. Central up 15 to 10. They've really got to get something going. Central being held scoreless since that timeout. There's Bennett. Finds Zelensky to Ald. The senior Matt Ald is coming to the game for the Red Hawks. Zelensky, he's being guarded by Westman. It's going to be a tough matchup for him. Zelensky is trying to figure out his defender. There's Sumkin. Sumkin finds Ald. Ald dribbles out. Finds Zelensky. No Zarnowski in the game, so it's going to be tough for Central to establish a post presence. There's Bennett. He's going to try to cross over his defender. There's a traveling call by Matt Ald. Turnover Central. And there's Westman, easy layup, and the lead has been cut down to three. And here we go. I'm officially joined now by Joey Gastitis. Gastitis, how are you doing today? Good. It's a good game so far. Yes, it is. Red Hawks came out hot, and Will North came back. It's a good game. We got 18. We're really into it, and you know, see what happens. We got 13 seconds left. We're gonna see Central try to go for that last shot. Here's Zelensky. Goes off to Lopez. Five seconds. Lopez kicks it out. Turn loses the ball. Out of bounds. North ball. There's 1.5 seconds left on the clock. We'll see if North is gonna make that last shot.
Brooks gonna try, go for that last shot. Nice swipe by Bennett, Get, not giving him a shot. Now will be the end of the first half, ladies and gentlemen. In a barn burner right here, Central getting one extra point from that first quarter. They are now up 15 to 12, a low scoring defensive affair. And you're seeing a lot of great plays by both sides of the ball. And we'll be back to you to give you the second half. But for now, here's halftime for you. Can you hear me? Hello.
awesome. Awesome. Okay. Welcome back to IHSA regional semifinal action between the Naperville Central Red Hawks and the Naperville North Huskies. In case you missed the first half, Central holding an early 15 to 12 lead, headlined by great defensive matchups by both teams. I'm Mark Kim once again here for the Red, for Hawk TV Lemmings on air. I'm joined by Joey Gastidis, who finally has the technical difficulties working. How are you doing, Joey? Good, how are you? You're doing okay. And you've really seen a lot of great play by both teams on the defensive end, especially the, the play of Nick Zarnowski, who has been, really, has been the focal point of this Red Hawk offense. And as for the Huskies, they seem to be spreading the wealth with the ball, but if I were to pinpoint the key player on the Husky side, it's got to be that forward, Derek Westman. Dangerous scorer, dangerous defender, he can do it all. Yes, he can. You know, he's a really that type of athlete that has all the mentality of the shot to the dribbling to the passing and he can put the ball in the hoop and that's what the Naperville North Huskies need coming down to the last quarter or half. Well I mean it's called basketball for a reason and the point is to put the ball in the hoop so whoever does that best wins the game I guess. And we'll be back and we're back with the second half central ball. You know switch sides of the court Here we go. We have Matt Bennett to handle the ball for Central. Bennett finds Blazik on the easy, easy play for the Red Hawks' first score of the second half. Nipperville North left them wide open. They can't do that. They need to make a tight defense and they need to play their very best or they're gonna be knocked out early. And just a reminder, Whoever loses this game is done for the season. So this is a big game on the line. Central and North splitting the season series one to one. And the tiebreaker for the season is also the most important game for both teams. 
There's Blazik. He's going to go for a fadeaway jumper. No good. Rebounded by Zarnowski. Jump ball. North will get that ball off the jump ball. There's Lalordo. He's going to be handling the ball for the Huskies. There's Rahayam looking to kickstart this North offense. Good defense by Central, applying a great man-to-man -man coverage. There's Lordo, he's gonna get aggressive to the basket. Big block by Nick Sarnowski. This man owns the paint and he shows everyone why. Big swat by the big man. Nick Sarnowski found that ball all the way. And then There's Winnick. He's trying to dribble out. Rafi Mamed gets the ball. Good defense by Nick Zarnowski. There's Lordo. He's going to drive to the basket. The foul on the play. And I think it'll be a foul against Central. And I think that foul, foul was on Matt Bennett. Not sure, but either way, it's going to be the first team foul for Central. There's a big bump and chuck. No foul called as when he picks up that basket. Central up 17 to 14. Kramer barking out orders for this Red Hawk offense. Finds Blazik. Lopez thought about that three, didn't take it. There's Blazik, finds Maloney. Maloney, Bennett, there's Zarnowski on that low block. Foul and one! Zarnowski doing it on both sides of the ball. Our defense, a big swat in the paint. Our offense, a foul and one in the paint. Central Central's weak or strengthness. They just get the ball to Zar, and Zar does his magic every time he tries to make something happen. And Zar certainly makes everything happen for this Red Hawk squad. That, that, that free throw extends the lead to six. Central up 20 to 14. Here's Lordo. He's trying to work past the Central man-to-man -man coverage. Bennett doing a great job against him. Lordo, he's gonna drive to the paint. Got some pressure from Zarnowski. The ball rolls out of bounds. Central ball. And you see that great man-to-man -man defense that Central's been playing today. They've been they've limited North to 14 points in the game so far. Usually, I'm, I would expect both teams to reach around 30, but both teams playing great defense. Just Central playing better on defense compared to North. There's Bennett. Bennett works around. He finds Maloney. Ball goes back to Bennett. There's Blazik. Low block, Zarnowski. Easy basket. Easy and basket by Nick Zarnowski there. He really got open. And Rafi Mohamed seeming to have a very difficult job, very difficult time guarding Nick Zarnowski. Even though they seem to be, they're, they're pretty close in height. I, Zarnowski's six foot nine. And Mavid six foot six and three inches off, but shouldn't be too much of a problem. Rahayam gets the bucket in. Central up 22-16 with 4.20 left in the third quarter. And there's Bennett. Bennett. Matt Bennett, not the school, Bennett Academy. And Central call a timeout, their first of the second half. 
and you've seen early domination in this third quarter by Nick Sarnowski, blocking shots, making easy baskets in the paint. Rafi Mohamed's got to do something about this guy because they just can't seem to stop him. There's Matt Bennett. He finds Blazik. Blazik's gonna cut to the basket. Easy layup. Open lane. You're not really seeing a lot of interior defense by the Huskies, and that has been their downfall. Unless Zarnowski is in there. I, I think it's a good idea for Kramer to use Zarnowski to suck the interior defense out into the open and try to get slashing baskets like that. The foul will be on Patrick Maloney. Central second foul of the half. And there's Winnick. Seems like North has used relatively the same lineup throughout this entire game. Westman finds Lordo. Goes to Mohamed and goes to Rahayim. Westman, he's looking for an open man. He finds Winnick. Ahmed bounces it off to Westman. When it to Raheim, Raheim's gonna take a long ball, that is good. Three point shot, lead has been narrowed to five. Central up 24-19. Looks like it'll be a timeout by Central. see Neighborhood North not really giving up here, Mark. And obviously they're not gonna they're not gonna give up in this game. This is, it could be the last game of the entire season. They don't want the they don't want the seniors to end their careers. It's certainly gonna be it's certainly a game that they need to compete in. They're only down five points. This game is still in reach. And even if this game wasn't in reach, this this is the last game for certain seniors. We don't know what side of the ball will be, but you certainly know that both teams will be fighting hard to keep their seasons alive. And there's Bennett, they will handle the ball. Dribbling up the court. He finds Arnowski, he's moving to the outside. There's Bennett. Takes it out to Maloney. Maloney goes out to Blazik. Blazik finds Bennett. There's gonna be Zarnowski on that low block. Kicks it back out to Bennett. Long ball, good! What a shot by Matt Bennett there. You know, he really got open. He, he uh... And that's exactly what you want especially with Ryan Anthony injured. Bennett certainly being a great replacement for the Red Hawks, and you can certainly see them in the back, in the central starting backcourt for next year. And if I'm trying to get a lineup together for next year, I would certainly have Matt Bennett at guard. I would have, I would certainly have Ryan Anthony at guard as well. Uh, let's see who else could be in the lineup. Taylor's, we could have Alex Pomeroy, Pat Maloney, and Nick Zarnowski. So this team isn't completely done after the senior class. They're losing about three seniors. Sunken, Blazik, and Ald. And excuse me, Nicky Lopez as well. So excuse me, that'll be four seniors that'll be leaving the team. So the Central squad certainly having still a bright future for next year. And it's certainly good to have Bennett play in this game to develop him for a situation like this next year, given the fact that I'll probably see him in the we'll probably see him in the starting lineup next year. 
not be not, not trying to be a Debbie Downer, but I think they're gonna have a better chance next year with all the seniors or all the juniors returning. What do you think about that? Well, I mean, this team certainly has a great chance, and every team certainly has their their ups and downs, but. I still like the way that this team is playing. I still certainly think they have a good shot to go far. Although I wouldn't exactly call them a state contender with Simeon lying around this this uh, basketball conference. Players like Jabari Parker, who's an absolute monster. So I wouldn't exactly call them state contenders, but I can certainly see this team making a deep run in the playoffs with this squad. And next year with Anthony with Anthony and Zarnowski as seniors, boy, watch out. This is going to be a dangerous squad. And Central's lead at six right now. There's, Ar there's Blazik. It's a turnover by him. Ball will go North's way. You gotta love all the energy in this gym right now. Coming from the kids on the floor to the kids in their stand yelling at each other back and forth to the fans, to the moms and dads who Hopefully you see there's some point another day at their seniors. And like I said, th like I usually say, it's usually not just a fan between like the players of the game. It's also a fan against the battle of the fans as well. With Naperville Central's Red Hawk Rowdies versus Naperville North's Dog Pound. I don't certainly know who has the upper hand because I'm here to commentate on basketball, not on fan wars. But that'll be an offensive foul by North. Matt Bennett doing a great job drawing the charge. Central ball. Never a North coach not really happy about that call. He's asking the ref why was that a foul. He thought that he was still shuffling his feet. Central needs to get it over. It's going to be about... 10 seconds. That'll be the 10 second clock. Fr Lopez frustrated. Great de great press defense, trap defense by the Huskies to keep them from crossing that half court line. And there's Westman guarded by Zarnowski. A great matchup. 35 seconds left in the quarter. The North will drive to the bucket. There's a foul on the play. And J.P. Riley will go to the line for the Huskies. Red Hawk has one person in foul trouble is Patrick Maloney with four fouls. And then right behind them is Mike Blazik and Nick Zarnowski, both with three. So their stars need to stop fouling so they can stay in this. And certainly they won't want any of those players to fall out. They're very key cogs to this Red Hawk offense. All starters as well. Riley making that first free throw. Second one is up. No good. Rebounded by Rob Sunkin. He goes out to Bennett. Bennett finds Lopez wide open. And he's got 24 seconds left on the clock. In that third quarter, Nurse Zarnowski losing grip on the ball. Blazing for three, no good. Rebounded by Lolordo. 14 seconds left in this third quarter. Lolordo's gonna try to make something happen, try to get a last second shot up. And he's gonna try to cross over Matt Bennett. Long ball, good for Naperville North. Central cheating it up, couldn't get it. And this game is certainly a barn burner. Central only up two now, 27-25 in the end of this third quarter. And we're in for a wild finish, aren't we, Joey? Yes, we are. That's, you know, that's the second time Campbell North has hit that last second shot. They got the Central has to pay attention to their last second shots so they know not to give up those points at the end. They need a play to the end. And you certainly saw this, how Matt Bennett certainly still needs more experience as well as he's played, as he got, as he just got Owen on that play by North, giving up an easy three. You can see 
every every player out there is getting nervous now. They they know they need to make the big plays, but they don't also don't want to mess up for the team. And they need they need to uh, relax and keep doing what they've been doing. And to sum it up, mate, ladies and gentlemen, it's grind time, baby. We're in the fourth quarter. This is going to be the potential end of the high school careers for seniors. And both teams are going to play their hearts out in order to make sure this doesn't happen. Red Hawk ball coming in. We're going to look out. They're going to look this, uh, for Zar down in the middle. Central inbound the ball. Here's Zar. To Pat Maloney. Out to Bennett. Swings it around to Nick Lopez. Back into Zar. Zar puts it up. What the foul? That's exactly what you want from the Central squad. Feed it down to Zarnowski. He's either going to make a basket or he's going to draw a foul. Mark, if you don't mind, if that's what Kramer uh, drew up for the team. That's what they did and they got the call. And that's the key, key for this Red Hawk offense. It's crunch time, Mark. They can't be missing these free throws. They need to hit them. They need to get in the game. They need to get pumped. They need to get fired up. I don't know how many times I've said this, but they're called free throws for a reason. That's because you've got to make them. Zarnowski missing both opportunities. This cannot happen, especially in the fourth quarter. And there's Rahayam. Let's go over to J.P. Riley, being guarded by Bennett. And there's Westman. He's going to set up that Husky offense. Goes out to Rahayam. Hands the ball off to Lolordo. He's been playing the point guard position for this Husky squad. There's Rahayam. Finds Riley. Rahayam for three. He made his last attempt. He's going to miss out the other one. Mid range jumper to Lolordo. No good. Rebounded by Pat Maloney. Takes a hard fall. Rebound. And the ball will be taken out of the backcourt by Matt Bennett. That ball goes out of bounds, but it'll be central possession either way. Neverville North really pressuring. They really want Neverville Central to make those mistakes. Like they almost did right there. There's Arnaski on that low block. Misses that post play, and it'll be a foul on that play. One more foul for the Red Hawks. They will be in one and one. And you do not want that going down in the stretch. Only a two point game. You said it, Kostaitis. You said it. Team's got to keep an eye on their foul. Earlier is North with a lot of early fouls, but now Central has picked up the elite North six to three in fouls in the second half. And that is not a category you want to be leading in. There's Mohamed. He kicks it out to Westman in that low block. Easy bucket. We have a tie game, ladies and gentlemen. 27 to 27. With 6.14 left in the fourth quarter. And there's Lopez. To Blazik, to Bennett. Bennett back to Blazik. There's Bennett wide open for three. Good! Great play by Matt Bennett, the junior, filling in for Ryan Anthony, making big shots for this Red Hawk squad. Bennett hits a wide open three. North has to guard him. He, they should know that now Ryan Anthony is out. They, he's the next shooter. He's the sixth man on this team. And I, I think that that role would still be Rob Sunkin, but at the same time, next year you can expect him to play like the Mike Blazik role, the, the start, the, guy, the starter that really brings offensive firepower to this Red Hawk squad. You're right. There's also a lot of six men. There's uh, Rob Sokin. There's Mike Blazik. There's Matt Bennett. They all come out on the court and give it their best and put the ball in the hoop. That's what Cra Coach Kramer. That's all he asked for, and that's what they do for him. 
and it certainly depends on the day and the matchup that that Kramer chooses when, who's going to be their sixth man, and whoever it is, they certainly have a heck of a game. Five fifty-three left in this match. You can see the nerves getting in their stomach right now. And here's Lordo. He's going to handle the ball for the Huskies. Goes to Westman. Westman's driving off. Kicks it out to Rahayam. Rahayam, great steal by Nick Lopez. They're not going to try to go for that fast break. They're going to just set up that Red Hawk offense. So the ball goes out back to Blazik. All's going to try to drive in. No good. Rebounded by Nick Zarnowski. He finds Blazik easy layup. And it's now a five-point lead for Naperville Central. Here's Rahayam. Goes out to Rafi Mamed. Goes back to Lalordo. Lalordo not really doing, not finding an open man. He finds Westman. And there's Rahayam for three. Good! And Anthony Rahayam has certainly been a great three point presence for this Husky squad. That was a great shot. Matt all got his hand in his face. He did all as he could do. And he just made a great shot. And there's Blazik. He's going to go for that easy layup. And you've got to guard that if you're in Naperville North. Blazik just get just driving into the basket and getting easy buckets like that. That cannot happen right now for this Husky squad. Good defense by Zarnowski, but there'll be a foul call. I think the foul will be on Nick Lopez. Nick Zarnowski with four. And this is not good. This is Zarnowski's fourth foul of the game. One more and he could be out. And Central cannot lose Nick Zarnowski right now. If I, were, if I were Kramer, I would pull him out of the game right now and save him for a two-minute drill. It is imperative that Central does not lose Nick Zarnowski. He's the key to this offense, and there's, it's going to be very difficult for Central to win this game if they don't have that big man in the middle. I mean, they certainly still have a shot, but Zarnowski is a big part of this team. They don't want to lose him. Second free throw is good. Two point game. Central up 34 32. 404 left in this fourth quarter. And there's Bennett. And there's Blazik. He's got spin out. Here goes to Bennett. Bennett finds Blazik again. Zarnowski on that low block. And that pass goes out of the reach of Central. It'll be a turnover. I don't know if he was trying to pass me the ball because I almost got it. And Taylor Zelinski will come into the game for Nick Zarnowski. A smart play on the part of Coach Kramer. Hey, Mark, I got a question for you. What's the question, buddy? What, who would you rather play, your arch rival in round one or a better team in round two? I don't know. Good layup by Derek Westman. It is now a tie game, 34-34. We got 322 left in this game. I mean, a tie up by Kramer. And things are not looking so great for the Red Hawks. They just blew a five-point lead. I think it would be harder to play a 
your arch rival in the round one because you know it's your arch rival and anything can happen instead of that, them going over to round two playing a better team and uh, not really knowing what they're made of and they don't know what Zar's made of. So I think because we've seen this is their third time meeting. They certainly know how each team plays. So the scouting reports have got to be pretty full, I would imagine. The ball will go Central's way after North pokes the ball out of bounds. Let's hope they don't get, get their hands on our equipment. It'd be really bad if a ball hit one of our stuff. With Zara and Maloney both four fouls, it's really a uh, shock to see Zalinski getting playing time with this little time left. I know Zalinski deserves to be out here. Long ball, no good. Offensive rebound, mid-range jumper by Nick Lopez. Big shot, two-point lead for the Red Hawks. 2.40, 58 left in this fourth quarter. And I'm really surprised I'm not seeing Rob Sumpkin in the game right now. There's Winnick, hands the ball off to Lalordo. Lordo finds Westman. Westman's gonna cut in, and a big block by Mike Blazik. Rahayim's gonna take it back out, he kicks it back out to Rafi Mohamed. It's a timeout by Naperville North. This is where you need Ryan Anthony. Sadly, he's out from the Red Hawks, and I know they really miss him. I've been talking to Ryan, and he really wants to get back in the game. He, he really was trying to get back tonight, but they wouldn't let him. He needs to be 100%, not 85%. I, uh, talked, I also asked uh, Ryan while I was talking to him, um, if he was going to be back the rest of the season. And he said he hopes uh, uh, to be back, but he doesn't know. He doesn't want to ruin his career for next year. He wants to uh, stay healthy and do what the doctors say so he can play next year as a senior. Well, I mean, Anthony Kerr is a big part of this Red Hawk team, and he's a great player, a big part of this team's offense. But next year, he's going to have an even bigger role. There's going to be no Lopez. There's going to be no Blazik. There's going to be no Sunkin. There's going to be no Matt Ald. So you're going to see a lot of Ryan Anthony next year. And he's going to be, him and Zarnowski are going to be given big leadership roles. So he doesn't want to mess that up for, this, for the next year's squad. He doesn't want to be selfish for this year. He wants to play safe for next year. And there's Winnick. He's being guarded by Mike Blazik. And there's Brian Lalordo. There's Winnick. Goes out to Rahayam. Mohamed to Lordo. They're really passing around the outside. There's Westman. He's going to try to cut in. Decides not to. Just flicks the ball off to Rahayam. There's a minute 56 left in this game. Neverville North playing really safe. They're not looking for a bad shot. They're just trying to get the two points. And there's Westman, easy layup right there, tie game. 144 left in this fourth quarter. 36-36, ladies and gentlemen. And there's Lopez, he tries to fake out his defender. Kicks it out. It'll be a timeout by Kramer. Central will call a timeout. And this is the biggest moment of both team seasons. We're in the playoffs. There's a minute 25 left, 36-36. And this could, be, like I've said this like 20 times now, this could be the end of the seasons for some seniors here. We don't know what side it's going to be on. It's going to be North or Central. That will be decided. 
aided by the outcome of this game. Do you know how many timeouts they have? I, I can't figure out. I don't. All right, we just got to pay attention and see what happens. Well, either way, but I think Central is in the bonus right now. It's a foul against North. We got a minute 15 left. Central needs to get a basket right here. I would imagine them feeding the ball to Nick Sarnowski, given the fact that he's been the most consistent scorer on the Central squad. Team finds Matt Bennett. Bennett in a big situation, nearly throws the ball but away, but here's Blazik. Sarnowski finds Blazik. Sarnowski on that low block. He's gonna go for that easy bucket right there. Big shot by Nick Sarnowski. We got 55 seconds left in this game. Thirty-eight seconds left, and this could be the end of North season. They've got to get something going now. And they find Lamar open for three. Shot, no good. Rebounded by Nicky Lopez. It's a foul on the play. He draws the foul. We got 25.4 seconds left in this fourth quarter. Red Hawks going crazy. This is unbelievable game. the word uh, Red Hawks have two thirties and one full. And North is going to call one of their timeouts and <laughs> they, should, they better have called that timeout because if you look at the score right now it's 38 to 36. Why wouldn't they call a timeout? They need to set up this last play. I assume that they're going to try to run this clock out and try to get that last basket. Excuse me, it's Central's ball, but they're going to try to run this clock out, draw a foul, get to the line, get some baskets going. Hey Mark, guess you just undressed. What? Ryan Anthony is coming in for the big moment. Oh, he's pulling a Willis Reed here. It's certainly going to be a big motivational factor for the, the Central squad. I think Kramer had an idea. Only use them if we need to. And they need it right now. They need to get their best free throw shooters out there. They can't miss a free throw. They need to hit both of their free throws. Make, make it a two possession game. It's going to be a really pumped up crowd when they see Ryan Anthony walking on that court. And like I said, he's pulling a Willis Reed moment. Kudos to my man Ryan Anthony playing through injury. It's certainly a tough ordeal, but this central squad needs him, and they're glad to have him on the court. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Ryan Anthony, because he's not going to be going away for a while. He inbounds the ball to Lopez. And he gets fouled right away by Lelordo. We're just going to play the foul game, try to get them on the line, flip them, get nervous, and try to miss the free throw. Anthony, the team's best passer, so it would be it's smart for Kramer to play Anthony on that inbound. And he finds Zarnowski. Zarnowski's going to streak up the court. He gets fouled. And Zarnowski thought it would have, should have been a flagrant foul. He, he got poked in the face right there. Zarnowski needs to make these shots. This these is one crucial. of the big, This is probably going to be the, some of the biggest shots in the game. 
Tarnowski can put the game away right here if he makes both shots. If he misses one, or if he misses both, then North still has a shot. This is where champions are made. Clutch time, baby, clutch time. First shot's up, no good. 18 point, 16 seconds left in this game. Lordo, he goes out to Raheim, goes to Winnick. Winnick's gonna go drive in. He's gonna go for that layup, blocked by Zornowski! But there's a foul on the play. Two shots for North. Blazing call for the foul. I'm sorry if you guys can't hear us right now. The crowd is going crazy. First shot's up and good for North. We have 9.2 seconds left in this game, ladies and gentlemen. And it is certainly a barn burner. 38-37 Central with the lead. Second shot's up. Good! Tie game! They're gonna run it out. That's gonna be a timeout. This is the biggest moment in both of their seasons. Could we see overtime? Or will Central make a shot right here to end the game? Or North seal the ball and make a shot of their own to end the game? We don't know, but we're about to find out. Five point nine seconds left. Who do you think is going to uh, hit the last second shot or shoot the last second shot, as yep. I should say? Um, I say give it out to, if you can give it to Zardinowski, do it. If you can give it to Zardinowski, do it. If you cannot, kick the ball out to Mike Blazik. Blazik is the team's best shooter right here, and you certainly want to have give the ball to him to take that last shot. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is the wire. Down away. This is why we love playoff basketball. We live for moments like these. And there's Bennett, he's gonna streak up the court. Blazing pitch blocked! And we're going to overtime, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to overtime. Here we go, the fifth quarter. At the end of regulation, we got a game, ladies and gentlemen. 38 to 38. We're gonna put four minutes back on the clock and we're gonna get going. And that was great defense by Derek Westman on that play. It's not good. They need to keep them. They need to save those fouls. And the tip-off goes to Central, and we're we're here to begin overtime. And there's Bennett, he's handling the ball. Here's goes out to Lopez. Very shocking to see Maloney and Zarnowski on the court. And you certainly want both of them on the court. Ball turned over, it'll be North ball. Yeah. 
and they'll send Derek Westman to the line. Post up by Zarnowski, no good, rebounded by Blazing, he gets fouled, he's going to the line himself. Weston not capitalizing on his attempts there, so we'll see if Blaze can capitalize on his. Crucial, crucial free throws for Mike Blazing right here. And you don't want to miss a free throw at all. First shot's up and it's good. Second one is good as well. It's a steal by Central. And there's Matt Bennett. And he gets fouled as well. Both teams are in bonus. One and one for both teams. Next foul for each team will put him on the line for two free throws. And the first shot's up. No good. He misses the first three throw. He can't do that. Winnick trying to draw that foul. He just chucks the ball up. Rebound by Central. And that will send Nick Zarnowski to the line. Jason Winnick not happy. And you see his coach, Jeff Powers, trying to calm him down. And remember, it is a one and one situation. Excuse me, no, it'll be two shots for Zarnowski. He's not sh been shooting well. He's got to make both of these shots right here, right now. This is playoff basketball. And he does. Here goes the first shot. Two point game. High intensity. Second shot's up, and it's good as well. Possession game, that's not what the Huskies need. And that's a three by North. We have 208 left. There's a foul on that play. And Zarnowski will return to the line. First shot's up and it's good for Zarnowski. 43-41. Second free throw's up and good. 
44-41. A minute 59 left in the overtime. There's Lalordo. He finds Rahayam. Goes back out to Lalordo. And Bennett will foul Lalordo. He'll go to the line for two. First shot's up and it's good for Lalordo. 44-42, minute 47 left in overtime. And here's Lalordo. Shot's up and it's good. And there's Lopez, he's handling the ball. Kicks it out to Matt Bennett. Bennett's looking to set it up this central offense. He goes out to Lopez. Lopez thought he got poked in the eye there. No call. There's Lopez, he's gonna drive up. He loses the ball, turned over by Central. And a great swipe by Matt Bennett. The ball will still go to the most way though. And I don't know if that's the right call, but then again, I'm sitting here on the other side of the court. I thought that Central, it should have been Central's ball. And Anthony's gonna come back into the game for the Red Hawks. Kramer not happy about that call. But what a heads up hustle play by Matt Bennett to smack that ball right out of his hands and prevent an easy scoring opportunity for North and a chance for them to take that lead. And North called that timeout right there. We're in the bonus on both sides. Except the green arrow is going North's way. Big, big possession for both teams. Zoom play here with a minute 15 left. North has possession after a great steal. There's Lordo. And there's a foul. It's a charging. And it'll be a foul by Anthony Rahayam. Offensive foul, central ball. If the ball turned over, Central will have a chance to add to their lead. They're only up one. They're going to want to add another basket and try to expand this lead. Ryan Anthony coming back into the game for the Red Hawks. And there's Bennett. He's got trapped right there. And Anthony flings it back up to Lopez. He stays in, bounces the ball off of the foot of J.P. Riley. And that will be central ball. Great heads up play by Nicky Lopez. Very smart, very smart. He was pinned up against the out of bounds. And there's a foul right there by North. And that will be two shots. Excuse me. That's his fifth foul. And looks like he's leaving the game. And they'll send Matt Bennett to the line. Two shots for Matt Bennett.
First shot's up, and it's good! Second shot for Bennett. That'll be good as well. And there's Lelordo. He's got to get something going for this Husky offense. Good defense by Bennett. Rahayim, long ball, no good. The ball just bounced out of bounds. Central ball. They have 29.7 seconds left. And could this be the end of Naperville North season? We don't know. Tight defense. There's Lopez. He gets up court. Takes it out to Blazik. And there's going to be an intentional foul by Brian Lelordo. They'll send Mike Blazik to the line. And I think they picked to the foul the wrong person because Blazik is a great shooter. Blazik's free throw is up and it's good! And that could be the icing on the cake. It is now a two possession lead for this Red Hawk squad. Second free throws up and it's good. Neighborhood North has to hurry up here. They've got to take a three or got to get a quick basket. Now Lelordo, easy layup, botched. They're going to get the ball still. J.P. Riley gets stuffed by Mike Blazik. And it is going to be half court violation by North Central Ball. Excuse me, no, it'll be a foul by Central. Two shots for North. But all the pandemonium, I don't know what was going on there. be two shots for number 22, Brennan Herbstreit. First free throw is up, and it is good. It looks like this game is over. Excuse me, he didn't make it. Not being eagle, illegal free throw. And it'll be a quick foul by North. Maybe Lopez makes the first shot. And the last second shot, no good. That's the game over. Central wins in overtime 15 to, 50 to 43. And my oh my, that was a heck of a game for both squads.
and that was a heck of a game. And I've got to give today's MVP to Matt Bennett, who has come up big for the Red Hawks while an with Anthony injured. And that's going to be the game today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching uh, IHSA.TV. I'm Mark, that's Joey, and have a good night.